Did you know that record numbers of hospitals are running empty and they've got big cash flow problems because of COVID-19? Why is that? Well, hospitals are not just emergency rooms. Hospitals aren't just COVID-19 treatment centers. Hospitals from coast to coast are running empty. 40 and 50, 60 percent of their beds are unoccupied. They've all canceled elective surgeries or anything non-life threatening. So the nurses, doctors, surgeons and support staff in many cases are staying home. And a lot of them, Kent, are going broke. Remember that hospital that the government built in Washington with thousands of beds? They never admitted a patient. Not one. Remember those, not one patient. Remember the two hospital ships that President Trump sent to California and New York? Those, those ships are now gone. Why? There's just not enough people to treat. The majority of people that get the problem called COVID-19 get it at home and they're treated at home and they're not chronically ill and they don't die, but we've emptied the hospitals. That's billions and billions in lost revenue that no one knows how they're going to bail out of it. I don't assume the government's going to have to step in and bail them out. It clearly was the government's fault that all this stuff happened. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, speaking of hospitals, What's all this with cancer? There's a big issue, kind of a side effect of, uh, of the whole pandemic with cancer patients. People with cancer, no joke, they have a life-threatening possible terminal illness. Nobody would argue that. People who have cancer are afraid or have been warned to stay away from hospitals because that's where the infected COVID-19 people are. And everyone with cancer knows for the most part, they're taking immunosuppression drugs, so they're highly susceptible to what is a bad flu. So they stay home. They're predicting now 20,000 more patients could die in the next 12 months from cancer than would have lived, but for the fact that they're not going to the hospitals to get their treatment.